Gates! Kami Bro here today with Warhammer 40,000 Armageddon Jokes. That's right. Yeah, so I'm pretty excited for this, as you can imagine. Um, not too long ago, I actually named Warhammer 40,000 Armageddon one of my favorite games of uh, 2015. So you can imagine seeing something about Jokes is something that's just absolutely going to tickle my pickle. That's right. So here we are today, day one, taking a look at Warhammer 40,000 Armageddon Dukes. <laughs> You've noticed this introduction was just me trying to say Dukes as much as I possibly could have. So, allow me to give you a brief description of Warhammer 40,000 Orcs. In this new standalone game, players lead the iconic Orcs through a long campaign split in three different acts. Fight side by side with the mighty warlord Gazkul Uruk Thraka. Or Gazkul Mag Uruk Thraka. How could I pronounce it wrong? And command over 150 different types of units from a list of over 400 units to form the largest unit roster ever seen in a Warhammer 40,000 video game. Some of the, t the the big touted new features in this one is a completely revamped UI, a whole new tutorial featuring the rise of Gazkul Magurothraka, and also a brand new multiplayer skirmish mode. Whereas in the previous game you would pick from a list of scenarios, whereas now uh, you can actually pick yeah, like like your points, how many points you want to use, and then you pick the map and so on and so forth. Uh, you've still got scenarios that you can play in both multiplayer and single player, uh, as you can see here. Quite a few scenarios to choose from, uh, from where you maybe you're just fighting against the Steel Legion, or fighting against the Ultramarines, the Salamanders, the Blood Angels. You're going to have quite a few enemies to fight in this game. So, without further ado, let's actually take a look at one of three of the campaigns. You do have the tutorial, but we're not really going to count that now, are we? No, we're going to go with Act 1, Armageddon Prime. <laughs> I dig it. Armageddon. Alright, so we're going to put it on normal. I'm going to turn off Fog of War because I want to be able to see all the units on the map uh, so that we can take a look at that together. And into your name, boss. Alright, well, since I is a, a, an accomplished Orc Commander, I'm actually going to be named Git Stomper. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Man, we're going to be playing as Git Stomper. <laughs> yeah, I remember you. You're one of the good ones. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be like that, guess cool, you know I won't. And I'm dying to use them on something squishy. Something squishy. I used to have seen it at first. There's plenty of enemies on this world to slice and crush. Alright, alright. So. Alright, interesting. So, we've got important characters from the 40k universe, the Mad Doc Grotznik, uh, we've got Gazkul Maguruk Thraka, and so on. So, scenario reminder, your primary core units are located in flanking positions while the central located auxiliary orcs are bait for your trap. Uh, eliminate all Imperial units that leave the hive. All right, so we've got units in the central area. We have units in the far right uh, to the south of the hive. And we've also got units in the top left. That's right. So the question becomes, how or, you know, what should we do first? So for those of you who are unfamiliar with Warhammer 40,000 Armageddon, uh, Warhammer 40,000 Armageddon is a turn-based strategy game. Um, it's in the same vein as the Panzer General or the Panzer Corps games, if you're familiar with those. Or if you're unfamiliar with those, it's in the same vein as the Order of Battle games. Uh, so that recently just came out from Slytherin. So, what should we do first? Should we send in our Grotank? 
Shall we send in our bone breaker? Or maybe should we go with the odd boys with special shooters? <laughs> I don't know. I'm torn. There's just so many different things we could do. Let's start out by um, using our bone breaker against. Should we use it against the Taurus Veneto? Uh, Venet should we use it against these penal legions? Apparently, if we're too close. Uh, we can get shot back by the enemy las guns, which those las guns do a pretty disgusting amount of damage. So maybe not so much. I think we'll take out this guy because he's got two. Ooh, nice shot. Three damage. Oh yes, that's what Daddy's talking about right there. And we've got little horn squigs. Oh, we dig it. Uh, dig it. All right, we're just gonna shoot those guys from a distance. Uh, these penal legions actually do a pretty disgusting amount of damage to our tanks, uh, despite them basically being, you know, just little regular troops. So we're going to try to attack them a bit with the infantry. The infantry we can afford to take some damage on. Um, actually, should we should we bust them up with? I didn't even realize we had a grot bomb launcher. Didn't even realize we had that. We could take out the Venator, which would secure our vehicles for the future. I think we'll do that. We'll go ahead and take out the Venator. God, I love those little effects. They're nice. They're simplistic, but I love them. Knobs with big choppers. Get in there and smack him with your chopper. Yeah, get the stomping. All right, so these dudes are devastated. We're going to go bust up the... Uh, well, okay, we're not going to bust those guys up any. We're going to send our squigs over here, though, our horn squigs, and they're going to attack that group of guys. Ooh, hoo, hoo. absolutely devastating. But we took some damage, but we wiped them out. Phenomenal, phenomenal. All right, and all of our dudes have gone over here. So let's go down here, and let's take a look at what we got. So we've got some Gretchens. Yeah. Um, what was our objective exactly? Like, what was that? Eliminate all Imperial units that leave the hive. So I'm just eliminating the units that come out of the hive. Uh, okay, so, God, that's a fuck ton of Imperial troops. That's a lot. Look at all these dudes. Like, and they got the Bombard, uh, the, the Lemon Russ and the Sentinel Armageddon pattern. They got, they got some decent vehicles. They don't really have their stronger tier stuff like the Executioner or, um, the Basilisks. I see no Basilisks, thank God. I was about to say, one of the most terrifying things to be playing against when it comes to the Imperials is their disgusting propensity to bomb you from a distance. Yes, which, you know, us being orcs, we has no time for long-range git. Yeah, uh, we're here purely, purely, my friends, for the uh, good old-fashioned uh, close-range beatdown. So, how do we want to do this? How do we want to do this? I guess I'm really just going to move some of my troops up. Um, get some of these dudes moving. And, yeah, yeah, that looks good. Looks good. All right. All right. And, um, yeah, we're basically just going to leave our dudes here. We could move these Gretchens back because they're probably going to get hurt a lot. So we'll move them back one. Um, and everybody else is pretty much just going to stay put. We'll put our killer cans with Scorcher over here. Uh, we'll take these Gretchens, move them up. And, yep, that looks pretty good for the middle row. I want the enemies to come closer to us. Get them dislodged from their defenses, because we definitely don't want to fight them in defenses. All right, so the bottom right. Well, the bottom right is more entrenched than the other two. Good Christ, they've actually got trenches over here. Look at that fortifications and all that nonsense but we've got grot bombs oh we gotta move this over here grot bombs who are we gonna hit should we hit the steel legion fire support no we'll probably hit this from the from the right so i think if we take out the dudes to the right we'll slowly work our way into the center we have 16 turns uh we do oh glory i like how it, it, they got teeth they got teeth on the picture and that's what glory is Yes, the more teeth you have, the more, uh, 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 uh I get, what was it, what's the, the bigger you are? Because you beat the shit out of all your enemies and take their teeth? That's kind of the thought process to an orc, after all. Oh, that did not go as planned at all. That's alright. 
All right, focus fire, focus fire. Do some damage, burn him up. Odd boys with the special shooters. We'll send in our squigs. Go, my own squigs. Eat the bastards alive. They don't even know what they've gotten into. We got a death roller. We'll move the bone breaker up and we'll just go ahead and eliminate that squad altogether. Boom, shakalaka. That's what I'm talking about. Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Um, and we'll leave the gut ripper up to the top right. Okay, so is there actually any purchasing units on this map? Oh my goodness, there is. We can buy us six more units to help us in the fight. And as you can see, we have quite a selection for this being the first level. Yes, we do. Now, the unfortunately, the orcs have a very depressing lack of... Uh, of artillery and of well, actually no this artillery is not that bad this uh, gun truck with big lava like they've got no good tanks early on you know they're not like the Imperials they don't have a shit ton of tanks because they're the orcs they don't fight with tanks they fight with hordes of infantry and these squigs are not bad not bad at all um, I kinda dig them I kinda dig them Let's see, burner boys, we got burner boys, we got shooter boys, we got storm boys. Oh, we got nubs. I think we're gonna hire some nubs. Let's hire some nubs. But we don't need a truck with a big shooter. No, we just need our troops. Uh, we just need those nubs with their, their shooters and their choppers. And their sluggers. Alright. We're gonna put them right there to reinforce that bottom right. That bottom right looks like it's got not a lot of stuff. Alright, so that's our first turn. Let's end that turn. See what happens, yeah? Alright, people are coming in, doing some bombing, doing some attacking, doing some stabbing. Okay. Alright, so that it's probably, yeah, it's probably good that we bat those Gretchens up because they are getting fucking pummeled right now. They're probably gonna die. Yeah, they're not making it to the next map, that's for sure. Oh, they burned us! They've got scorchers! Burn us! Yeah, but we do too. <laughs> yeah, it's because we're rooks. Uh, okay. Well, they're they're laying it on us right now. No mercy. No mercy for the orcs. You know, I kind of imagine, like, because when you play these the actual um, imperial scenarios, basically on uh, the battle for Armageddon, you. It's shaky gets yeah, they're attacking us. Who who would have saw that coming, right? <laughs> Since when did a humies actually attack anyone? The pansies. Anyway, um but yeah, like like I was saying, it, it it's weird because like now when you're fighting desperate defenses as the um as the Imperials in like most of the battles until the Space Marines show up. When the Space Marines show up, that's where everything starts to get a lot better for you. Um so it makes this interesting because as the orcs we don't have overwhelming superiority um like in, in terms of numbers and this this first little scenario here. Personally, I, I kind of actually would have liked to have just a shit ton of like grots and gretsons and and uh, and squigs and to have to charge the line just fucking losing dudes left and right. Because I mean that's the orcs. That's what the orcs do. Uh, so I don't know. Maybe that would have been too overpowered and not balanced enough though. So who knows? Who knows? Let's see. I don't know how to pro progress this. Damn Imperials and all their their nice fancy technology. The bastards. Um, and I don't really. I don't even know how to go against that Taros Venator because it does enough damage where it does more damage than my buggies, and I don't want to lose my damn buggies. I just got them. They're so delicious. Whatever. Blast them. Open fire, men. Bring them down. Yeah, we're going to do a shit ton of damage to it. All right. So it's hampered, I guess, is a good way of putting it. It's, it's been hampered. Um, hmm. Not enough, though. God damn it, man. This thing is resilient. Die, you bastard. Die. Fucking tits. He will not go down. He will not go down at all. All right. That's all right. We'll just send our Gretchens in. Go, Gretchens. Chop them to bitch. All right. 
Uh, Okie dokie. So what do we want to do now? Is that the uh, sitting in Armageddon pattern? Do we want to attack this Steel Legion infantry? Oh shit, they are... Those dudes are entrenched. They are, they are not taking this shit. Not taking this shit at all. Uh, whoops, I didn't mean to open that. Alright, uh... You can tell I have no idea how to progress here. Uh, that's alright. We'll just send these Gretchens in to die. Poor Gretchens. Sorry, little Gretchens. I know you didn't plan on dying today, but uh, unfortunately, this is the Warhammer 40k universe. And the universe does not give two shits and a piss about what you want to like. Alright, so. How do we progress? Well, we attack the Armageddon Pad and Sentinel, of course. Bring it down. Destroy it. Burn it to the ground. That's right. That's right! Alright, so I guess we're just going to defend more. Keep defending. That seems to be a strong tactic. Um, attack, Gretchens! Get in there and take out those Scorchers! Yeah, do some damage. <laughs> Alright. And, they're, yeah, they're, they're dead for good now. No, they're not. They still have one health. The bastards. Oh, I'm so displeased by this turn of affairs. Um, okay, so let's send these Gretchens over here. Let's get behind these troops, like these these Scorcher dudes. Oh, shoot melons. I definitely did not want to walk upon them in there. No, definitely not. And the artillery is getting close. Uh-oh, that's not good. Mm -hmm. So let's take a look at the right side. Things are going better over here, I feel. Okie dokie. So we've got an additional piece of artillery. We've got, we've got the Guilt Ripper. Uh, I don't know if I'm ready to fight with the Gat Ripper yet. No, I'm not. We're going to move our troops up. Get them a bit closer, as you were. And we're going to bomb the dog shit out of you. Yes, bomb him. There we go. Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. So we're going to go in for an attack. Do some damage. Phenomenal. We're going to finish those dudes off. Finish them off. So close. It's always so close. <laughs> like, the games are just like, eh, we could give it to you, but that would just be too easy. Just too fucking easy. Bomb them. Bomb them into oblivion, boys! Show them how much joker we've got! And I'll uh, take my horn squig. Uh, we're gonna finish this group off. Go in there, Ma! Oh, these are attack squigs. Go in there, more tech squeaks. Yeah. Uh, we'll move this dude up. He's got two shots. And we're going to finish off that group right there. Get him out of that trench. Get him dislodged. And we'll move in this trench. Yeah, that's right. We got our big choppers now. Yeah, we're taking this uh, trench and using it for all good. Yeah, we can. I feel like if we can take these little trenches on the road here, the fortifications and the defense and the line of sight blocks that they provide, will be very beneficial to us in the future. Um, as you can tell on the western side, the western side is going much better, much better uh, overall, as opposed to the other things that are happening. Oh, can I not attack? Oh, okay, all right. Blast them. Oh, that thing's blocking. I guess that's blocking line of sight. I just can't. Uh, have I moved all these guys already? No. Oh, get. <laughs> get gut ripped and pincered, you bastards. All right. Um, who else we got? We got this guy. Move him up. Open fire. Blast him. Just completely incinerated. I wish there wasn't this giant, you know, thing between us. That would be nice. That would be real nice. Alright, move everybody up. Move up. Move up. And... Looks good. Alright, so they're another successful turn. And uh, the Imperials are moving into the center. And we are not looking good on the center. Can we purchase any more units? Let's see. What can we get? I want more of these squigs. These squigs are some nasty little bastards. That's for damn sure. Uh, what else can we purchase? Can you purchase Stigs with a truck? Yes, you can. You can put the Squigs in a truck. That's hilarious. I wonder how they don't attack. Oh, a Death Dread with Kill Saw. Oh, now that sounds orky to me. Let's get that one for sure. For sure. What else we got? Vehicles. Gun truck with Big Zapper. Gun truck with Cannon. I like the Big Zapper better. Let's get that. Alright, so we purchased some additional units for the west side. 
And there's another turn. So, this is Warhammer 40,000 Armageddon. If you're interested in it, it is available right now on Steam for like $17.99. And it's currently on sale, so when it's not on sale anymore, it's going to be 20 bucks. That's right, just 20 bucks. And what's important to remember, this game is entirely standalone uh, compared... Uh, you don't need Warhammer 40,000 Armageddon to play the Ox expansion. Completely standalone. Now, if you want the full experience of the Battle of Armageddon, I would highly, highly, highly recommend that you take a look-see at uh, Warhammer 40,000 Armageddon. The uh, base game. It comes with, there's a whole bunch of DLC. There's a complete pack now. It's phenomenal. And like I said, I am a huge fan of Warhammer 40,000 and I absolutely love the Armageddon games. I've Probably, I've pretty much played all of them, I think, except for the Orc Hunters expansion DLC. That's the only one I have not played yet, so just throwing that out there. But, dope. Thanks, Dagnuts. But anyway, <laughs> this has been Commissar Bro. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this little playthrough of Warhammer 40,000 Armageddon. Dokes! And I hope you all get to some good old fashion wog time yourself. And with that, I'll see you next time.